What we'll be discussing is business combination. Now, what is business combination? This when two or more businesses will combine their resources to form one entity. Okay, so this is under PFRS3. So the focus of our discussion will revolve around PFRS3. Now, basically, when we talk about business combination, there are three types of business combinations. Okay, what are these? So, first of all, I told you that it is the result of when two or more companies will combine their resources to form one company. Now, let's say we have here Entity A and Entity B. Now, they may be corporations, they may be sole proprietors, they may be partnerships. It will not matter. Okay, now what are they going to do? A and B will combine the resource. And then, the result is the surviving company will either be A or B. So, isa lang. Dalawa, ang mag magsasurvive, isang company lang. Okay. Parang boyfriend, girlfriend, nag-asawa, magsasurvive yung pinedo ng lalaki. Tama? What do we call this? O parang wife and girlfriend, when they have a union, what do you call that? You call this a merger. Okay, so they will merge into one. So, if it is A or B who will survive, anong tawag doon? Merger. Yan yung tawag doon. Now, we have here A and B. Okay. The result is a new business or a new entity. Okay. Parang kunyari, sole proprietor A plus sole proprietor B. If two sole proprietors will combine the resources to form one entity, anong tawag doon? Anong tawag doon? Parang diniscuss natin yun. Partnership, di ba? Partnership. They will form a partnership. So, it's already a totally different entity, correct? What do we call this? We now call this a consolidation. Clear? So, you see the difference between the two, ah? <clears throat> In the first situation, A and B, they'll form the resources. Ang surviving company, either si A or si B. 